Yo, what's up? In this video, we'll check out how to use the gamepad control with Ableton's MIDI mapping mode. So let me load the gamepad control on a new empty MIDI track. It's already working, connecting. Now, uh, in order to use the MIDI mapping mode in Ableton, we have to send that MIDI from an external source. In order to do that, we have to use inner application communication or virtual MIDI bus. Now, on a Mac, it's built in. On Windows, you have to download one free application. On the Ableton website, there's a page with instructions step-by-step -step on how to do this. But on a Mac, I'm gonna go and search audio MIDI setup. I'm gonna go under window and choose show MIDI studio. And here I should find the IAC driver, double click and turn on devices online. If you don't have a bus, you should add one bus. That's all we need. Now in Ableton, I'm gonna go to the settings and under the Link Tempo MIDI tab, now I'm going to see the IAC driver. I'm going to turn on Track and Remote for the input and Track and Remote for the output. That's it. Now I set up. And what I can do now from this MIDI track, I can send MIDI to the IAC driver. Now, because this track is armed, if I play my controller, it's going to send notes to this track. That means that I can also go to MIDI mapping mode. And now I can start mapping whatever I want in the controller. For example, here, let's map these ones to the up and down. Let's map this to A. Uh, and we can also, at the same time, control effects with the mapping mode that we have in the gamepad control. Let's go and uh, load, for example, a filter. Let's go back to the gamepad control. I'm going to use the CC mode and click map. While it's uh, blinking, let's go to the master. Let's map it here. Nice, but I want it to behave in an opposite way. So let's change the maximum minimum to 100. Maximum to like 30. I don't want it to go all the way down. Let's go check it out. Nice. So now I have that. And uh, I can now navigate my session. I can launch clips or launch scenes. Use a filter. Let's do one more effect. Let's do like beat repeat. I'm going to put it before, so we can also filter the bit repeat, turn down the chance. Let's put it on insert mode, no triplets, bunch of variation. Let's go back to our gamepad control. I'm going to keep it in trigger mode. Let's map it to our repeat right here. Nice. Nice. Uh, of course, you can do anything you want with the MIDI mapping mode. So I can go even to the arrangement. Let's go back to arrangement. Even here, I can map the locators if I want to jump into different sections. Uh, I can continue mapping to more effects. Uh, it's very versatile once you're using this uh, virtual MIDI bus, the ISC driver. So once again, it's built in on Macs. On Windows, you just have to download one extra software, but it's free and it's on the same concept. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy and I'll catch you next time.